I'm Jessica Chobot, and this is Nerdist News. In a staggeringly crummy turn of events, we lost another entertainment icon today to cancer. Alan Rickman, one of the most recognizable voices and best actors of his generation, has died at 69 years old. So in his honor, let's remember some of his greatest roles. While much of his acclaim as a thespian came from his restrained, passionate work in flicks like Truly Madly Deeply, Sense and Sensibility, Love Actually, and a metric ton of incredible theater work, his roles in genre films will always stay close to our nerdy hearts. Like Galaxy Quest, one of my favorites, where Rickman got to flaunt his comic chops while playing a hilariously pretentious actor who thought he was better than the nerdy convention circuits he was relegated to. Until, of course, we got to see him launch on a real outer space adventure. Or that other Galaxy movie he did. Do you guys remember when the film adaptation of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy was announced and we all hoped and prayed that Alan Rickman would play Marvin the Paranoid Android? And then he did. And it was perfect. A pretty sterling example of the impression the actor's dry wit and peerless voice left on people as we all universally cast the man as the universe's most comically depressed machine. And speaking of that voice, though, who better to have played Metatron, the voice of God herself, than Rickman in Kevin Smith's Dogma. The man completely elevated Kevin Smith's everyman dialogue, got to have a load of filthy fun, and fit in perfectly with the wildly eclectic cast. Though he was always completely recognizable, Rickman never felt like a square peg in a round hole, instead always matching the tone and vibe of the project around him. A true pro. But we loved him the most when he was bad. I mean, come on. Hans Gruber, the Sheriff of Nottingham, and Professor Snape, although that's somewhat debatable because he did it all for love, the man had a knack for mean. As Gruber, he blew our minds in what was, for many people, his breakout role at age 42, which is inspiring to think about. His portrayal of the slick baddie was unpredictable and incredibly fun to watch as John McClane got his goat. Allegedly, it was Rickman's idea to have Gruber wear a suit instead of assault gear and to have him pretend to be a hostage himself. So, Alan Rickman's ideas became the most beloved parts of one of the most beloved villains in cinema history. Not too shabby. As for the sheriff, who could forget that smarmy, sultry performance, which managed to completely outshine Kevin Costner's Robin Hood in both sexiness and charisma, despite Costner making the movie exclusively as a vanity project for himself. I mean, those curly locks. Just damn. And finally, who could ever forget what Alan Rickman brought to the role of the complex, heartbreaking Sever Snape? Over eight films, Rickman convincingly brought to life a man who could be at equal turns menacing, pained, heroic, and undaunted. Few actors get to soak in a role this well developed over so long, and few would be as suited to it as Rickman was. He said himself that it was one of the great treats of his life, and we're so lucky that we got to experience everything Alan Rickman had to offer, including him saying his iconic line, Harry Potter into a helium balloon on Fallon. This is very difficult, but it's Harry Potter. <laughs> We're all going to miss him so much, but why don't you share your favorite Alan Rickman moments with us? Let's celebrate his incredible legacy in the comments. Kyle. Yeah. What's your favorite Alan Rickman role? Uh, I loved him as Hans Gruber, especially that one scene where he's dropped from Nakatomi mm -hmm. because uh, he got such a good reaction because the director told him that they were going to drop him on three, but they actually dropped him on one. Oh, so I that's why the, that looks so real. Oh, that's terrifying. So do you guys know what I'm doing tonight? Uh, talking to Josh Holloway. That is right. You know, don't be jealous. I'm. You know why I'm not gonna say that? Jealous. Oh, you should be though. But he's got great hair. He has the best hair. That is right. He whose hair is better than yours, Josh Holloway. Uh huh. And showrunner Carlton Cuse teamed up to make the new super cool alien occupation show, Colony. You guys can check out the premiere tonight on USA, but before that, at 5 p.m. Pacific, Dan Casey and I are hosting a live Colony pre-show right here on Nerdist.com. We're going to get in-depth with the stars and creators of the show, and you can interact with them live. Just use hashtag NerdistColony to get your questions in starting now, and of course, jump into the chat room when we're live. Kyle? What's Because Science about today? Well, Jessica! It's about mind control and Jessica Jones. 
and whether or not sweet it, yeah whether or I not was wondering it, what that was about yes. and then I was like oh yeah uh, Jessica so go watch because science do it and then stand by that fence forever <laughs> <laughs> no take your clothes off in this restaurant okay <laughs> Uh, very cool, I mean. Check it out on nerds.com.